ไปจบองจนุมจุเรปากกามันโตให้จำราการในเตพีสัมราการไอจิตปตตอนนี้อันเบียพดอลปิติกาจุนตือกรมบิดีกาปิกรลุกนนุนจีเราไปมีนอกะแล้วตั้งทำรถเด่นดาวจุปูเนี่ยจุมเนียงสมอบคุณลูกประเทศสมจุมเรียบสุลูกปุษรจักรมลูกปุษรมิตรวิขยมมีนจำนวนประมาณคลั่งจำนวนจำนวนเราบลูกปุษรให้ขยมมีนจำนวนบรรทายมวยจำนวนจำนวนตีมวยบลูกขยมคือจังดังบรรทายมันปีสุพยบลูกปุษร Sepuluh bahan lukis lain bapum dari China mempunyai perempuan roy kali seperempat ke kah bapum lukis pipi. 1998, yes. Mempunyai perempuan roy kali seperempat bahat terus. Jom naik kah bapum lukis mui China mempunyai perempuan roy kali seperempat. Tahu lukis lain. Perabjung kian bante, serta kasrai ceriu cembong, juga kas dap cemlawi, cung semkan cung kerai dapat lukis lagi tu bulan ini cina mana deh? It would have been in 1990. I think 94. Cemlawi kian. ยมกระทาชนะมปอนรำบุญโดยกาสับบุญคือคือพายจะดาวชนะกาสับถ้าอายสมดุลแต่อายดาร์เต้ในขนมไข่กะกระดาชนะกาสับปีประสานบ้านในขนมสับเพยนั่งคืนจังแม่ไทยสมดุล What exactly did you do between, let's say, that last interview in 1992 and the Um, yes, I did freelance articles and um, yes, freelance articles directly about Cambodia, uh, freelance articles and occasional. Um, I went to Cambodia in 1995. Previous trip to Cambodia before the book was 1995. Did you do any substantial research after the book? มวยแต่เติมตอนนั้นกำปิดเชียร์ดีกว่าแต่เติมตอนนั้นระบบกำปิดเชียร์ปิดเชียร์ทับไตปิดตัวปีสิบเพย์ระบบลูกสไลด์
Major no. But I've kept up the secondary. The reason I'm asking you is um, I have noticed that um, some um, possibly important secondary literature is not in, in your book. Partly, not mainly because it's post-1998. Uh, um, I'm referring to uh, two books. Uh, one book from an American scholar. Stephen Morris, uh, who extensively uh, used uh, material from the Soviet archives, and a more recent book from two from the Cambodian journalists together with uh, an American journalist, uh, Ted Sambat. Uh, have you read these books? Uh, yes, I know um, Sambat's movie, certainly, and in fact, I nominated him for an award. And, um, I, of course, I know Stephen Morris's work. I've known him for a long time. But I, don't, I can't say that I can remember his recent book that well. Well, his recent book is from 1999, so per definition, you couldn't have uh, incorporated that book in your, in your book. Yeah, I've read it. 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 Was it your question whether or not I'd read it? Sorry, whether you incorporated his book into your book? Yes, it's it's your we're speaking English, that's why I go faster than normal. I will slow down. I'm sorry. Um, the other thing that I have uh, noticed in, in your book is, and maybe I'm wrong, please correct me if I'm wrong, there is relatively uh, little literature coming from China or uh, the secondary literature or primary sources uh, from the indicating the Chinese perspective on what happened in DK. Would that be correct? Um, I think that I don't think that's accurate. In fact, a recent book by Andrew Murtha on the Chinese in Democratic Campuchia, which was published in the last year or two, begins with a quote from me and, and um, quotes me extensively on the Chinese role in Democratic Campuchia. I, I could give you one concrete example. I, I from January that's correct. That's correct. That's ແລະສົນລົບ I was actually going to refer to that document uh, later on in my questionnaire, but I'm very happy to do it now. Um, I'm referring to the document um, E3 07 slash uh, 5.2.1. Uh, there's only 
คือทำเมียนไทยพิซซ่าอังเลติคือโซนมวยโซนมวยปีโซนคือเชื่อไปกับระบบแกงเบียร์อันปีสถานที่ยิ่งในขนมอัปปะทวีปอันดูจันไอวิมีนในเรื่องสมนเรื่องสมนมเรื่องพองได้ Mais quand a-t-il été publié? Puisque si vous voulez poser une question pour savoir pourquoi il n'est pas mentionné dans le communiqué, il faut que nous sachions la date qu'il a été publié. Il faut que nous sachions la date qu'il a été publié. Yes. จะกรมระเบนเปบเปนตบอมบงคือทายมามเจตไอกสารดมบงตระบานเป็นเจนไอปปุปปรมินไทวันในขนมคายมกราชนำไปสมุยในบานบัพมสายเป็นชนักเขียนกระทไอกสารนิกิจไอกสารชนำไปสมุยได้เยียวในขนมสุเพอร์บอนในยันจันดาในเพอร์บอสติเวนมอริส And to be complete, my Chandra's book is the first edition of 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 the first edition Uh, earlier scholarly work, Keenan, uh, Chandler, uh, I, I wrote down in my notes that you said in an answer that among the group you shared a lot, would you be able to expand a little bit on what you mean when you shared a lot? What was the point of your presentation? Well, if someone was working on an issue and they knew someone else had documents, we would share them. Would you be able to, to say that you would like more from um, one scholar or another, or is that, is that very difficult to experience? Well, for instance, Nayan Chanda and I shared a lot because he was a Vietnam scholar and I was a Vietnam reporter and I was a Cambodia reporter. So we, we, we shared an awful lot on the diplomatic. Nayan wrote on the diplomatic history and he was very much on diplomatic history. So I shared with Nayan. Um, uh, with Ben Kiernan, he found the documents about the murder of Malcolm Caldwell. He shared that with me. Um, Stephen Heder was excellent on translating Khmer Rouge documents. This David Hawk, I mentioned David, he was one of the first to put the collections of photographs together, so he would bring things to me to go over. It depended on the subject. Um, going back um, to an earlier question from the prosecution, um, on your contacts with officials, uh, for instance from the State Department just prior to your trip uh, to the UK, um, in, that, in that context, have you spoken to uh, an analyst of the State Department, a uh, person with the name of Douglas Pike. Douglas Pike is much more a Vietnam expert, and I did not talk to him before my DK trip. Have you used uh, the report that he had written? for U.S. Congress um, in the fall of 78 uh, for your book? Um, I certainly talked to the members of the of Congress who, who wrote the report, yes, and talked to them, but not to Douglas Pike. But my, my question was, whether, do you remember whether you actually um, used his report um, 
to write certain chapters of it. Yes, I read it. And it's, uh, can you it's one of the secondary, yes, 1978 report of the Congress, yes. No, the reason I'm asking is because I, I didn't find it in, in uh, reference, but um, what else can you tell us about Dr. Spy that he was a specialist on Vietnam? Dr. Spy got um, I don't, I, 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 his regular biography, I do not know him uh, well. Then moving on to, um, to um, 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 American journalist, uh, uh, Richard Bateman, uh, Richard Richard uh, Bateman. Spoke, uh, spoke about him already before. before. Um, um, would it be correct? ដោយវាជាការត្រឹមត្រូវដែលទេដែលតែខ្ញុំអាចនិយាយថាគាត់គឺជាមនុស្សម្នាក់ um, I believe he's uh, He has, um, he has a good reputation, as I wrote in the book. Um, he, um, he, he, his whole, um, his major journalism career was in Washington covering the State I Department and making occasional trips with foreign, uh, U.S. foreign um, I've, I've Googled him um, and I've seen that he won uh, a George Polk Lifetime Achievement Award in 1993. Would you be able to tell us what exactly um, that award includes in life? It is a, an award to a reporter who does um, uh, dangerous assignments in 1978 Cambodia proved to be very dangerous. Is it a, is it a prestigious award? Yes, it is. Um, it is a prestigious award. Um, I would like to um, talk a little bit more about uh, Richard Dutton. Richard Dutton. I'm not quite sure if uh, that was sent to you. Um, I would like to discuss with you an article or rather an op uh, that he wrote um, in the New York Times on August 17, 1990. Uh, Mr. President, that would be E. My first question to you, uh, Yes. Uh, do you have any, any general comments on, on, on that op that you wrote? Well, I don't have any general comments on that op that you wrote. Oh, I disagree with that. Would you be able to explain with what you disagree and why? Uh, by 1990, when it was published, all of the tool slang had been open for years. The evidence was clear. And, um, Dick had retired. He had never gone back to Cambodia since December 1978. And, um, I, I, I like and admire Dick, and I was sorry that to see he write, that he wrote that because the evidence was the contrary. Um, 
If you allow me, I'll, I'll read a few just two or three passages from that article to you know more specifically what he is saying. Uh, the title of the article, I'm not sure if that is uh, coming from him. Uh, is, uh, Pol Pot, yes, no, mass murderer. And he opens this article by, by saying the following. Uh, uh, blind hatred of Pol Pot. And Khmer Rouge is pushing the U.S. towards policies, policy changes that will contribute to the ultimate destruction of Cambodia as an independent society through conquest by Vietnam. Uh, he then, I'll, I'll skip a few uh, paragraphs, he then moves on to say, and I quote again, before we abandon the opposition coalition, we should take another look at the man we love to hate. As the conventional wisdom that Pol Pot and the Khmer Rouge are irrational fanatics who practice deliberate genocide, slaughtered more than one million Cambodians, and wrecked the Cambodian society and economy. The evidence for these fixed beliefs consists mainly of pertinent, though statistically inconclusive, anecdotes an extrapolation from accounts of mass executions in a few villages. It comes mostly from those with an interest in blackening the name of the Khmer Rouge, from Cambodian refugees, largely the middle and upper class victims of the Pol Pot Revolution, and from the Vietnamese um, who long ago annexed much of Cambodia and now covet the rest. Excuse me, what would be your reaction on these two paragraphs? So, my looks that his ideas are entirely um, out of date, that he doesn't even mention all of the archives that were uncovered after the Vietnamese invasion. That, um, uh, this was there is no question. The reason we're having this trial right now is the evidence is overwhelming. And um, as I said, I really like Dick and I admire him, and I'm very sorry to see him wrote that because it's, it, the evidence is this was an incompetent murder um, Thank you. Um, then he moves on, and then as my last quote from this specific uh, article, he moves on to a very brief summary of his bigger report from uh, 1979. Um, if you allow me, I, I quote again. Um, so he talks about uh, his visit and he says, um, still, the information I had received in advance was mostly misleading. Observing many hundreds of Cambodians, too many I judged to have been raped for my benefit. I saw a generally healthy population, a normal demographic mix of men, women, and children, including babies in arms, and yes, many nursing mothers. I looked in vain for distended bellies and dull brownish hair. Working hours, 7 a.m. to 7 p.m., were not unreasonable for the harvest season. A natural rubber factory and pharmaceutical plant and textile mill appear to be operating efficiently. Rice exports have resumed on a modest scale, as confirmed later by the U.S. Uh, Department of Agriculture. I'll move on to more details um, in his report, but that is his 1990 sort of very short summary of his visit. What would be your initial reaction to this paragraph in his that this is what we call single source reporting, that when you go simply to a, a country and you allow government officials to make your itinerary to define who you talk to and who you do not talk to and do not allow you any freedom of movement at all, that is single sourcing and that's not, that's not complete journalism and um, I disagree as you know. Um, I would like to um, 
put before you uh, a passage from uh, the dissertation written in 1990 um, by a uh, Dutch academic. It's a book, uh, called The Eyes of the Pineapple. It's written by uh, Ruhl Burgler. Uh, Mr. President, it's um, the, the, the E3 number, or oh no, sorry, the E3 or 715.2.17 is uh, the relevant <coughs> number. And the ERN that I'm specifically specifically referring to um, is 010024473. I'm afraid there's no French or Khmer ERN yet. It's uh, a footnote. Uh, uh, on page 352, and in this footnote, he explains how he has analyzed and researched the various reports of allegations and visitors to DK in 1978. And the footnote reads as follows. Um, I will quote Dutman. In my opinion, the most critically insightful of the visitors extensively. And then he goes on to say, uh, see also Becker, 79, Ito, 78, Stanich, 78, etc. Et um, what would be your reaction to this scholar's um, categorizing, as you will, uh, of his uh, reporting in relation to the other reports, including yourself? Well, as much as I don't like to be drawn in, I'm not going to criticize Dudman mm -hmm. as a human being, mm -hmm. but um, my book is quoted extensively, mm -hmm. and, I, and I, I'm mm -hmm. confident that my mm -hmm. reporting has been mm -hmm. quoted extensively. Uh, thank you. Um, I would like now to... The author, uh, Judge Lavergne, is a scholar called Rule Burglar. And his book is titled The Eyes of the Pineapple. It's published at the University of Nijmegen. Uh, Ms. Becker, I would, I would like now to move on uh, to the report that Richard Dutton actually uh, wrote right after uh, his visit to DK together with you and uh, Mark Caldo. Um, these are more, uh, more detailed quotes, and um, I would read a few, and I would like to have uh, your specific comments, if that's all right with you. I would like to start, uh, Ms. Becker, with, um, um, I'm Becker. referring, uh, uh, excuse me, Mr. President, to E3-3290. Uh, the English ERN is 0041927. No, there are, there are no French or Khmer um, My first quote is on, on page three, on, on the first uh, uh, column. And it reads as follows, Ms. Becker. Um, while the visit amounted to a conducted tour with strict limits on conversations with ordinary Cambodians and no opportunity to speak with any but a few top government officials. There was plenty of opportunity for observation in tours of 11 of the 19 provinces. A little further on that same page, he says, I quote, despite 
the restrictions so the in Cambodia placed on our activities, uh, we were able to gather significant information about the new Cambodia for the first time since the communist victory uh, of almost four years ago. Would you agree with uh, that observation? Um, I agree that we were heavily restricted, and I, um, I, I know I disagree on what he considers opportunities for observations. We were, as I said, we went through a lot of provinces, but we were stuck in the um, and, um, On this specific topic, did you ever no, see no, afterwards? Uh, no, uh, 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 Not only did we speak to each other, we debated each other regularly on television. Was that in 1979? I'll move on. Uh, I'll move on to an, uh, a next quote. Uh, that is a page later, ERN 001928. He says, at the same time, the physical condition of life may well have improved many times and former urban workers. Possibly, for the vast majority of the population, the regime claimed. He says, at the same time, he goes on to write, the I new communist Cambodia became one huge work camp, but its people clearly were not being worked to death and starved to death as for it was charged. What I found in two weeks of touring Opoch's Cambodia and the strict government supervision of the opportunity for observation was a regimented life of hard work for most Cambodians to lengthen. However, by much improved housing, regular issues of clothing and assurance of apparently adequate food. I did not find the green picture painted by the thousands of refugees who uh, take new order and fled to Thailand or Vietnam. Workers usually appear to be operating under their own direction. Uh, there was no sign of government cars giving orders or armed drives. Although individuals, you know, seem to respect. That would be sort of the first set of quotes from his report. Uh, 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 he was a comment on the Yes. Um, the major disagreement between Richard Dudman and I was that he did not know Cambodia before. So when he made his statements, this is improved housing, this is better clothing, he's comparing it to nothing. He had been in Cambodia once before when he was captured by Vietnam, by the Vietnamese soldiers. He had not been to Cambodia before. So we regularly had discussions, as I said, all through, that, Richard, this is not improved. The, the, you had to know this is not at no, all. We just went to a couple of model places. What you see is you know, Potemkin Village, and even that is not improved. And, um, we did see armed guards. We, we were stopped. Every time we tried to do something, we were stopped and often by armed guards. So um, then I, I'll move on with some more quotes. The next phrase, the next phrase, and so on, so on, and I quote again, at 11 a.m., the midday break began, and farm workers had a fun time at each new communal dining hall. Afterwards, many could be seen relaxing or taking naps in the hammocks or slung themselves on stilts. Work was soon at 1 p.m. There could be no doubt that Richard Dudman's five young children, men, women, and children, 
ហើយទំព័រដដែលនេះវិជ្ជាជនកម្ពុជាម្នាក់ថាបីឆ្នាំមកជាងនេះគឺថាមានការរីកចម្រើនយ៉ាងច្រើនក៏បាននិយាយថ
Nhưng nâng tôi từ lọc một căn trong đoạn đi Lúc sợi bài khởi 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 Chỉ mùi bài khởi Lúc sợi 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 bài khởi Nên tiện tuông tuần nâng chùm hô hay nâng tuôn này đi Rõ bỏ Việt Nam Tiện bọn nâng tuần nâng Campuchia Phía chìa tuần bởi tay chìa phía xe Cứ à dì à khá nê tèm đóng Quát màn sơ xe rõ bài ca nê Để tạm khi nhầm dưới Thì Vì Sở mái để có trở lộn bằng chăng Mà vì chùm hồ rồi bỏ con Chùm hồ rồi bỏ con xuống cao bỏ Rồi tế tẹo tôn 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 phanh nhà này Hai chìa rồi bài ca môi để có trả bỏ rộm nha Nói chùm môi để có nền dây nó không lòng sức đầy xoan ở thang rồi bỏ con Cứ đôi kháng khổ rồi khiêm xong đỏ sẽ đọc đầy xoay tớ Hai khiêm xong xuống mới ta lộn xoay miền phát tất cả một dạng Mạch tái Lộn bởi thiên ai cơ xa này cơ ơ Bấy lơ Bấy Chúng dùng từ Yên chìa bị xa ổng khê Xôn xôn mùi Bầy bầm bùn bầm mùi Chúng dùng từ Cứ tham biên cả bọc bài tài chìa bị xa bà răng Yên chìa bị xa bà răng Xôn xôn bầy bùn bùn bầm bùn bầm bùn bầm bùn bầm bùn Nhi chi sẽ kể xong là than quạt bàn đại chung từ Sao mà ai Nhiệm xong đọc xa rộng Cô mở ní Việt Nam Bàn kết cụ ẩm bì bà nhà xa hạ bòn ẩn đủ chân Sao mà ai ốc tư phí mùi ní Chỉ cả chăm bách Vìa tầm râu ôi Campuchia, Lào Rư có Giang hội nạc có trâu Miền mê đọc nòa mong mùi xâm rạp ở tên là Tiếng Pí Nông ca bóng cao xã quân ẩn đủ chân cư Việt Nam vô lòng bị bà nhà nế Nế chỉ phần này mùi nế sức đầy xoan thang rồi bỏ con Khi nhóm xong dựng bệnh tích đời xa bà nhà bỏ ra khi nhóm xong đọc xa rong mà đoàn tiết Bởi thế nên tập ở đây bộ đồ vô Có khơi xảy nhà nế tùm nọ rồi viên công bình đi Nó có nông chân nằm bỏ con នេះដោយសារពីទីទីទីទីទីទីទីទីទីទីទីទីទីទីទីទីទីទីទីទីទីទីទីទីទីទីទីទីទីទីទីទីទីទីទីទីទីទីទីទីទីទីទីទីទី
mình men quan tới tia xa thiên lạc chân nữa để trâu thua ôi dù lục khổ bài mình nữa vì mình chết thật là sắp xa cứ trâu đập lực hai đã có chiến nạc bộ đồng biên hôn trả chết chia ca sắp xa xa chưa rồi bỏ xa mãi mũi ca rô khơi nếu mà hai nhà khơi thật tụ bây giờ lúc hai thì lúc hai thì còn mình ta mình mến cho lúc bằng chăng xa mãi chức ní cả nạc cam thì ca để cho lúc bằng chăng ông bí tia xa nạc rô bác của xung ca bỏ tế hàm vệch nô tế hay ai cái xa nít tốt bởi dương mơ Đó tôi không nông cà rô khơi trong khăn trong khăn Tôi nông trọng tổng phố bởi mỗi nhiên Vì cảm ơn chí Việt Nam đã lực lạc của people của Pi Hiu Sầm Pon Hay nâng Cảm ơn bị bà cứ hay cái xa nít bàn một Pi Cảm ơn chí bởi chí thật bởi tay nít cứ chí bởi phố đã lục phái cọt bán đỏ sổ rộng Vì tôi cũng bởi chí លោកផៃធ្លាប់ធ្វើការឲ្យក្រសួងការបរទេសហើយក៏ជាសាស្ត្រាចារ្យផ្នែកខាងប្របត្តិសាសាផងដែរសម្រងដែលខ្ញុំ
seriously believe that the Vietnamese were fighting their war in order to take over Cambodia. The, at that point, uh, the, the ultimate is in the Chinese Federation. I, I don't think you can say that, no. But if you uh, rightfully say that Douglas Pike was instrumental in his formulation of the Well, that's an unknowing uh, a liberal, but he was somebody with uh, possibly conservative views. Yeah. So my, my question is Reflecting on his knowledge of the 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 academics or, or scholarship uh, that actually uh, maybe, uh, would um, receive high prices for uncovering uh, uh, material because it's all, it seems, buried in the archives. We generally appreciate if you don't testify but ask questions. I agree, but I mean, the very um, What about the other? Um, Conclusions of Douglas Pike. <coughs> the, the, the question whether Cambodia Cambodia behave 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 or not, uh, uh, visa Vietnam. Uh, 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 Oh, I think the, the war proved that their foreign policy did not make sense. I think they should not have instigated that. And the, and the whole Pol Pot interview I had with Richard Dudman was the, um, the model for irrationality, the idea that he actually built his foreign policy, his war policy, on the notion that Warsaw Pact was going to join Vietnam and NATO was going to join Cambodia. That's the model of irrationality. I was, I was coming to that topic, but now that you mention it, uh, didn't Vietnam enter into um, a military aid agreement with the Soviet Union? Uh, Soviet in, in, in Vietnam prior to uh, the invasion? Uh, um, um, Soviet Soviet uh, Soviet Yes, in fact, that I mentioned that the Soviet-Vietnam agreement was one of the big big um, temperature risers for the Sino-Soviet uh, split. There's no question that agreement was critical. And yes, there were Soviet advisors in Vietnam and Chinese advisors in DK. But the idea that we see Warsaw packed troops and NATO troops is coming back to me again in the last few years. Because the idea that we see Warsaw packed troops and NATO troops is coming back to me again in the last few years. Because the idea that we see Warsaw packed troops and NATO troops is coming back Publication, any publication, First of all, 
It was so irrational that it was taken out of my report. I have no idea. The editors took it out. Um, you have the recording of Pol Pot saying that I gave it to the um, trial. I can't answer for Richard Dudley. What about the publications, the black paper? That was by the foreign ministry given up before uh, we went to see Pol Pot. You have to ask DK on that one. Oh, I, 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 I have to ask Pol Pot. Look, I saw the robot that was just about to die. Jump up on top of that one. That was a bit lost in translation. The black paper that was just about to die. Look, I saw the robot that was just about to die. Jump up on top of that one. Um, no, did you hear the, did you listen to the recording? I gave it to uh, the court. Uh, uh, no, but I'm, I'm, I'm saying no, 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 that maybe the translator was translating it, didn't understand it properly. Because I'm saying that maybe the translator was translating it, didn't understand it properly. Because I'm saying that maybe the translator the translation was done by Kiet Chun with two and percent in Yingsuri helping him. I don't think that would have been a mistake with those people. Because Kiet Chun, 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 because not NATO, it was U.S.-Chinese relations that were critical on this issue. Europe, NATO, no. This was U.S.-China, and that was very critical. And you see this particularly around um, uh, Tiananmen Square. No, I deal in as you get closer and closer to the end of the line. Deal in a man, no, 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 you have upon one or five upon one. I think your answer got lost. Can you do it? But Jim Lyra about looks like a man pinging. You asked if this affected U.S. NATO, and I said no. This was much more important for U.S. Chinese, and it continues all the way up through Tiananmen Square. And you can see that U.S. policy towards Cambodia is very much determined by U.S. Chinese policy. NATO. Started already in the 1970. Both are far from acting irrational. Would you agree with that? In 1970, the major change on the border was when the United States supported the coup against Sihanouk. The troops, the Vietnamese, the communist Vietnamese troops, both from the north and from the south who had been confined to the eastern zones. They spread across the country, and the Vietnamese communist troops took the fight against the Lan Nol government so that the Khmer Rouge forces could build, could arm, and so on and so forth, so they could be ready to carry the fight on their own. That was the major change in Cambodian-Vietnamese military relations. So to call that a border war, no. It was very much, the first, in fact, it was very surprising to many people that the Vietnamese communists picked up the slack. They won Chenla 1 campaign, they won the Chenla 2 campaign, and that's all the way across this country. I would like to follow up on that, but I think I'll move on to uh, um, the next uh, line of questioning. And that is, uh, we have been talking about the American perspective on um, uh, uh, Vietnamese ambitions in the Chinese Federation. I, don't so, um, I would like now to read to you a passage coming from Sir Morris that we discussed earlier. Uh, uh, Morris, uh, 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 entitled 
miền Trung Đông Trường Thái. Why Vietnam invaded Cambodia? Hai đồng ban chia Việt Nam chia liên biên Campuchia. Specifically, Mrs. Becker, I would like to take you to page 66. Chia Việt Nam, cứ đối chiếu này lục giấy Becker, cứ tổ bộ học tập của mỗi nơi số này, cứ E N. Ở bài sơn bằng pi lơ pram Chọc pi chọc buôn Yên chìm xa ổng lê Sơn mùi sơn sơn mùi bằng pi Bảy bảy And Morris is quoting the Soviet ambassador Cứ đọc sơ rộng xong đây rồi bỏ Ai dạ kẹo rồi tụi tụi sử viết Tòa trăm lâu Việt Nam khẳng chướng Nhiệm xong ăn chung lục xe đôi tòa tư nít nhưng xong ăn dư dư đầm bay cầm ở miền cả bọc rải tàu bàn nghề rồi nên mình miền này thà Hà Nội bàn bọc bong nấu mà hai chữ ta rồi bọc luôn tiếng xong kẹp con từ nâng và nhà đồ chơi thì chỉ biết nó không chỉ làm một con bọn rồi chặt sập bẫy ai cả đầu tư tư số việt nấu hàng việt nam càng chứ bàn và chạy than nít cứ chia cốt bọn nó đó bọn thì còn Hà Nội hay nâng cứ chia cả đó xong pi sập đầy rồi bọn ai cả đầu tư bà nhà hà sầm rạp ở đâu chân nâng cư bà nhà hà nhà ông Pi tia xa nạ rô bò Sài Gòn mở lơ lê chân cảm bà chìm hỏi cõi mò cư Việt Lào nâng Việt Nam có bán thôi đầm lao đồ lơ mẹ kia tổ căn rô bò xung cung bình dung đôi cái này mù là hai này bà nhà hà sầm cung bình dung Việt Nam cứ 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 chọn cột đập từ lửa à rồi cái công nghệ in anh đu chân đi tay mà đó nó không nông chỉ là một con bồi chất sập bảy cứ thắt sụp viết lâu tại vô khởi thắt cô là vô bài việt nam chạy tuồng tuồng nâng cao bằng cả xã con anh đu chân nâng cứ chi nó tại chi mà hai chúng ta là bảo việt nam lục xây miền bắc tập cam dạng đồi này nhé Oh, I'm not surprised at all. As I said, it was a moving target, and depending on the period, it's whether or not different people and different parties saw that. Now, if you remember correctly, the Soviet Union had very poor relations with both sides of the Cambodian War. They kept their the Soviet kept their embassy in Phnom Penh throughout the war, and the first thing that the one of the first things that the Khmer Rouge did was trash the Soviets, who thought they would be treated as allies. So it's a very, it's a very tricky thing, but I'm not at all surprised. And you'll, you'll find references to this, you know, from from very different periods. But as I said, the most recent Soviet archives, work, again, I'll repeat in the book Embers of War, traces one, the Soviets having very little interest in Vietnam, Cambodia, or Laos, and not wanting to give much money. They were much more interested in Europe, and therefore very happy to have an Indochina Federation kind of Indochinese party. And it was Ho Chi Minh who fought with them to have a separate Vietnam party. It seems, I mean, and maybe I just don't understand it. But Dr. Spike. Describing in the Chinese correspondent, speaking ແລະຈະແມ່ນກ່າວຕອນຖ່າຍຕອບສົມຈິງຖ້າເປັນຍາ The interview with the, the Soviet ambassador is very interesting, and um, Douglas Pike has his views. Uh, I don't, maybe the Soviet ambassador and Douglas Pike agree, you're absolutely right. 
but I don't know if we can call that American policy and Vietnamese policy and Soviet policy. For your background information, because I, I didn't see it, uh, 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 reference in your book, it was a, a very high-level meeting in January 7. It was uh, the Central Committee standing um, It was a secret meeting. Uh, Bing Biao was the highest uh, uh, military person within China. Uh, the highest person within China. Uh, the uh, important uh, to uh, uh, know how uh, is Deng So uh, uh, this is not ນີ້ມັນແມ່ນຊິອາຍກະສາສາທາລະນະຫຼືກໍຊິມະຕິຈະສາທາລະນະຂອງຊັ້ນດູຫຼາຍປັນຕາຈະກາກຶດກະດົ
to be honest, I, I find that a little disappointing that after seven years we still don't know uh, we still have to discuss the value and relevance of being Biao. All uh, scholars are referring to this extremely important report. It is, um, without a doubt, the view of uh, China reflecting Chinese policy. And if I'm wrong, I'm, I'm sure the expert will correct me. Uh, I'm not sure. Council, there has been a ruling. Please get the language to it. That's the only thing we ask you. At this point in time. Fine. Um, Mrs. Becker, um, yes, I'd like to. Uh, would you be able to tell Chinese policy in relation to um, what the Chinese views were, I'm sorry, of uh, Vietnamese policy toward the UK or toward Cambodia? That totally reflects the public view. In fact, you'll see it in my book. The Chinese definitely accused Vietnam of wanting to the Chinese Federation. And that's one of the reasons they gave when they invaded um, Vietnam from the Chinese border and taught Vietnam a lesson with the invasion. That's no secret. Every, he, and they very much used the Vietnamese desire for an Indo-Chinese Federation to, um, to say very publicly, it's a very public point, that they considered Vietnam going after an Indo-Chinese Federation. That's not a secret. Thank you very much for your answer. Um, ແລະຕໍ່ກິດຈໍານາການສາມາການມັນໄປ